Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a Heroes of a New Earth cast. This is a game from the Zoe Cup, and Zoe Cup number two is hosted by UNGL.org, which I believe is the European uh, organization. They do a lot of esports, they do a lot of mini cups in and around the Heroes of New Earth scene, and they're running a new tournament. And that means I get to play here with the new replay controls, which are uh, pretty darn good, if I might say so for myself. So, uh, you can see the duration of the game and uh, all that fun stuff, but we're going to go through the picks and bans. And if you are wondering, yes, the green uh, the green bordered items are the free-to-play heroes. This guy is the Monkey King. Oh, he's only available to those that has the early access. Uh, we're not going to get into that right now. But let me do a little bit of intro here for the teams. MSI is uh, Fnatic MSI. And if you follow around some of the Heroes in Earth lore, you might say they're the best team in the world. Uh, simply because they won the World Cup. And usually when you win the World Cup, you're allowed to say that you're the best in the world. Fun stuff. So, yeah, here's Fly. Uh, fresh Fly. Fresh Pro, it's, uh, it's a fun guy, that one. But No Tail, Nova, Trixie, oh, there's Fresh Pro, sorry. So Fly and Fresh Pro, two separate people, my mistake. But uh, Fresh Pro, Trixie, Nova, No Tail, and Fly, you know, typically considered one of the best teams in the world. So they're going to be taking on, oh, Team Random here. Not too sure if they have a team name at all. I don't see even any clan name. So Team Random, there you go. They will be Team Random. I can actually get you a better team name than that. MSI took on... Adon. No, sorry. SC. So, whoever Team SC is, that's who they took on. And that's what we're going to watch. Alright, so they are in the picks and ban phase. We are running on banning a pick mode, which is the typical tournament mode. Tournament modes means you can't have any add-ons, and you have to be running a banning pick. So we're going to get some bans out of here. Let's see, we do start off with Fresh Pro, or sorry, Fly. I'm not, I'm going to get that wrong all game. We are going to start here with Fly on a Team MSI, Keeper of the Forest, Polywog Priest, Mirmidon, Silhouette, Hellbringer, Kraken, Torture, Tempest. So with that in mind, now we're going to go through the pick phase. But Keeper of the Forest, big jungler, same with Tempest. Uh, you could definitely put forth... Yeah, you can't be a Tempest here, it's banned, sorry. But you could definitely put forth uh, you know, cases for strong jungle right there. Torture, big AoE. Kraken has been you know, roiling around in the sea, doing some amazing things with his uh, splash attack. And yeah, fun stuff. So I can see how, why he was banned. Hellbringer is a big anti-initiation tool or a counter-initiation tool. So, you know, hey, you guys get uh, ultra or ultra upon, somebody's going to jump in your face, just throw down that mouth. It's big, giant AoE stun. Turn that tide. Get the fight rolling in your favor. Polywog Priest remembered on Silhouette. Silhouette's a big, big carry. Uh, very late game kind of thing. Polywog's another big pusher, just like the torture. Remembered on, uh, could just be for fun. She's a huge, huge support hero. Actually, arguably one of the best support heroes in the game. And we're not going to see that. And as you do see the, the picks come out, uh, we did have first pick here selected by uh, MSI Fly. So that's kind of weird. They got first pick and first ban. Lucky devils that they are. But Plague Rider, these days, at least in the higher end brackets, he used to be more of a big support role. But I guess the tides have turned. And it's probably popularized out of Dota. But we've been seeing a lot more Plague Riders go solo these days. Why? Because they're virtually impossible to kill. Contagion there for the slow, the cursed shield for the armor, and the extinguish for the deny. So very good at keeping their lanes back. Very good if you can last hit with them, which is something of a practice to art. Very good at uh, the last hitting of the denying. You should be able to fend off one-on-one. -on -one, no problem. And you get that level 6 really quickly, which is a big tide turner in in those team fights. So the play carrier will bounce between the heroes a whole bunch of times. And, you know, fun tough like that. Witch Slayer and Corrupted Disciple came out here for SC. Witch Slayer is likely going to be that support role. I see an Ophelia shadow pick, although I don't know if he's trolling me or not. You really don't see that many Ophelias out anymore, simply because she's widely regarded as one of the worst heroes in the game. While in reality, she's actually a very strong hero, but you got to have the right mindset, the right mentality. She's really big in Dota uh, these days, almost one of the most feared junglers in Dota. But, uh, you know, going with that Ophelia, not too many people do that. Here in the League of Legends, or here in the Heroes of Nereus. Of course not in the League of Legends. Anyways, Corrupted Disciple coming out. He's likely going to be taking one of their carry roles, or at least that semi carry role. I'm going to have to see who else they're going to bring around. But Magmus is going to probably be the, sup the complementing support to that Witch Slayer on that War Duty. If you can get himself a PK, throw your ultimate into the mix. Good fun times. Bombardier. 
Demented Shaman coming out. Demented Shaman's a big favorite MSI uh, support. And Bombardier with on a no tail. No tail's likely going to be going that mid. So no tail is one of the best solo mid here uh, champions in the game because uh, he can play any hero. Just go solo mid and just dominate with him. It's quite ridiculous actually. But uh, see, expect good things out of him. We're going to have Viking Sun play that Puppet Master. Now, Puppet Master, again, kind of more of a late game carry. He needs a, a good amount of farm. But once he gets farmed up some crit shards and that uh, cloak of, uh, that stealth assassin cloak, yeah, uh, he's going to hurt like a truck, I'll tell you that. And he's, he's really good at also, you know, kind of mitigating damage during the team fights. If you can get off your shadow, or your puppet's hold, and your, pu your puppet show, and your puppet's hold, it's, um, be really annoying at times. So we'll have to see where they will go. Ophelia is actually going to get picked up here by the MSI. Trixie is going to swap him up to Fly. I have to wonder what Fly is going to do with him. But Zephyr, the snowy owl Zephyr on Fresh Pro. So not too sure if either of them are thinking of jungling. I know that a solo Zephyr has been doing really good these days simply because uh, those tornadoes, you can just get yourself an on-demand heal just like that if your last hits are up. And typically with a Fresh Pro, those last hits are going to be way up. So in terms of thinking uh, just a little bit about MSI, no tail's likely going to go that mid. Now, I'm still unsure. Plague Rider solo, Zephyr solo, maybe throw Zephyr into the jungle, maybe throw Ophelia into the jungle. Either way, they're going to have one more solo and likely a tri-lane, since that is the popular thing to do here in the Heroes of New Earth. We're going to wait for this last pick coming out for SC. It's going to be small. And looking at small, they got two support, and they got that Puppet Master for that late game. Uh, so the Corrupted Disciple likely going to be going mid or that Puppet. So they're going to need someone else to go solo. Or, yeah, we're going to go with a Vindicator. Okay, so I can see Corrupted Disciple, Puppet Master going solo, and a triple lane with the Vindicator, Switch Slayer, Magnus. I'm a little confused as to a Vindicator pick. Typically, Vindicator is not something that you're going to see a lot of in and around the place. He's a very fragile hero. takes a lot of good practice to play one of them. I think I can actually just close this guy. No, nope, apparently not. Whoop. Up, up. There we go. Look at that. Nice and small. I like that. Still can't close him, though. Maybe you can close him in game. Ah, uh, well, we'll see. But we are going to get this game rolling here, guys. MSI versus SC in the Zoe Cup first round, so I believe round of 32 here on Caldever Forest. I like the music running in the background. Can I close you now? I can close you now. Huzzah! Look at this sexy little interface. I'm really liking it. Alright, so we are going to get these guys rolling zoom all the way out so we can see what's going on. There's that Bombardier pick going mid. I mean, no tails. I said he's really well known for his mid play. Really likes to go down there. Zephyr's heading down south. Does not look like he's going to be in the jungle at all. Iron Buckler, some runes, and a mana battery. You don't get any charges off of creeps. So he's going to go down here with the Demented Shaman. Ophelia, I have to assume, is jungling. That's going to put us with a solo Plague Rider up top. So good times there. As I said, you know, a lot of the pros in the higher bracket like to take that Plague Rider off to the solo lane by themselves. And Ophelia is probably going to stack over here and start off, well, with hopefully some stack creeps. Get herself a nice, uh, a nice command. There we go, command right there. So she's going to take herself a creep. It'll be fun times to be had by... Oh, Vindicator going mid. That's something I didn't quite see. And Puppet Master top. So they're going to have the tri-lane running with the Corrupted Disciple. Witch Slayer and Magnus are too indicative of a tri-lane to really ignore for that. But really curious to see if we can play out this Vindicator to a lot of his strengths. Solo, he's great. If you level him up and you got your positioning down correctly, as I said, he's more of a hero of finesse, a little bit more used to get to, because majority of the time he's just going to go into like the big tri lanes with Sage's Lore. You throw Sage's Lore into the mix and it's just a giant OE. It's going to drain your health and your mana. It's fun times. Your player damage, if you look here, hero damage is just going to go way up because you're just hitting all three of them at once. And, you know, later on it just gets so annoying that you just end up spending skill points to negate it. But instead he is going to go mid with that in Master's Incantation, so he is trying to add his intelligence onto his attack damage, and he's going to start himself off with a Guardian Ring and a Mana Battery. So Guardian Rings are another big popular pickup I've noticed uh, in the game because they like to make those rings of teachers, and why not? I mean, extra armor means reduced damage for you, and that ring of teacher means extra mana for you later on down the line. 
So we are going to be running a, a two on three down south because we do have Ophelia off in the jungle. Now she does have herself a Minotaur, didn't bother stacking. No worries, she's just going to take that Minotaur, start herself her jungling spree. Now she will eventually come over to this nick of the woods, but they will see her with this ward of sight as she does try to go for that gank. And so we'll have to see if it works out. MSI can pull off some really crazy stuff at times, so don't discount anything at face value here, guys. Puppet Master and the Plague Letter up top. They're just going to go back and forth. Play uh, Puppet Master is looking really good with his auto attack. 53 to 67. That's, that's a lot of auto attack. And in the mid, it's just going to be back and forth. The Boom Dust, as well as uh, the Sticky Bomb on the Bombardier that might be a little bit too much for Vindicator to take hold of. He doesn't really have that much in terms of hit points, but we're going to have to see if this mana battery can make all the difference. So you see, they do see this Ophelia, and now they're actually going to intercept her before she can do anything. She is going to get the Minotaur stun off. Looks like she's going to try to go for a kill here on Witch Slayer, and that's going to be Zephyr coming up here with the Gust, getting the first kill right there. Might have to pay for it, though, because he's taking some good damage, but no, we're going to put this, the slow dot look at that heal by Nova. Well done. Getting the second kill there for Fly. Double tap on your Ophelia this early into the game. Wow. That is doing some work there, fellas. Doing some work. I'm actually just going to bring back, bring these back out. And I'm going to pause because my sound settings sound really dumb. There we go. Let's try that. It's just like overpowering my own sentences probably not good. Alright, so two kills in and it's like what? That's the wrong there's the button. Two kills in in two minutes. Um, that's, that's impressive work right there. Two kills in two minutes. Good stuff. But it is MSI. These guys have some fantastic workmanship amongst them. Good communication skills and this tri lane just got uh, their, you know, basically handed to them. Uh, on a silver platter. So there's the sticky bomb just on that Vindicator trying to get some health regen up before it goes off. Bam! Yeah, a little, maybe 20% of your hit points, so don't get hit by too many of those. Probably not the best of ideas. Plague Rider's doing alright up here against this uh, Puppet Master, so let's take a quick look here. So Puppet Master's running 7 3. We got uh, Trixie running a 9 5, so you know, pretty, pretty comparable. We got next few extra denies here. For Trixie, that's because of this extinguish, as I said, denying those creeps like uh, like a boss. Now, it's going to keep your lane back, it's going to deny all that uh, experience for the enemy, and of course, he's not going to get any gold off any denied creeps. What's going on down here? We do got Dementia Shaman in the trees, probably going to be looking for a good point to come out. Does have that mana up, so it's kind of kind of hard to hit him with an auto attack, so that mana potion, not going to get disturbed at all. But again, this ward of sight here is going to see this Ophelia. Now, if SC knew that, I mean, they, they should back off. Okay, there we go. Magma's kind of leading the retreat. Witch Slayer might be too little too late, uh, but we do got a great stun off from that Minotaur. does miss that stun, but I will it be enough? It is not. We're going to get that heal onto the Minotaur, and that's going to kill a Tonka right there. So a big kill there for Nova. And again, like, what's the point of the putting this ward here, guys, if you're not going to adhere to it? And look at this. Ophelia with some spider sense. Going to find that ward of revelation and uh, get rid of it. No problem. Puppet Master throwing out the hold onto the Blague Rider. Both of them are low on mana. It does look like he will win the auto attack war, but we do got a potion ready to go here on Trixie. So he's going to gain all that hit points back. We do not have any more regen on the Puppet Master, so be very careful the Puppet Master. If we get an Extinguish off here with uh, Plague Rider, you could be in a lot of trouble. We did just see uh, another kill down south. Of course, I didn't see it because I didn't have... Oops didn't have this up but there we go Magma's gonna go down after that again and corrupted disciple maybe do we got a gust we do have a gust it's gonna bring it back and that's gonna be a serial killer streak for this Ophelia that's uh it's pretty good four minutes into the game it's uh the score six zero guys for MSI they're looking pretty strong right now. They're they're talking. They're getting this jungle ganks off. We did do the counter ward onto this, so they do not have any more vision. Not that SC was able to really make use of that vision. Anyways, and it does look like Bombardier in the mid. He's going to approach that level. There he is right now, level 6, right off the bat. So he's kind of winning the mid. I mean, look at this experience permanent right now. 418 here on the Bombardier. And their solo mid was that Vindicator. He's sitting around 226. So in terms of levels... Clearly in the MSI favor, six kills, an extra jungle, and winning the mid is gonna, you know, do you a, a, a world of a world of good. Uh, when we're gonna be talking about this kind of uh, advantage, look at this, Plague Rider gonna be auto attacking down 
that Viking son, but he did have to use his ultimate to do it, so not a problem. Hey, a kill's a kill. And we're going to have, have some items, you know, they're going to start coming out pretty soon. Gold pennant, looking good for that Ophelia. She has like, what, three kills right now? Ophelia's running 3-0-3. Three, three. three kills, three assists. Part of six of the seven kills. And, uh, you yeah. know, 365 gold per minute to boot. That's going to, wow, look at that, play the Greaves right off the bat. It's going to be huge for her Minotaurs and her summons because of all that extra armor. So you can see right there, Ophelia's command with the Teacher's Aura, armor and mana regen. And mana regen, nah, it doesn't really matter that much, but that aura of armor is going to be huge for her uh, jungling. Now, she is running level 2 command, but she can still only have, uh, I believe, one unit. Yeah, she can only have one unit. And she's pulling these creeps into, uh, her, uh, she's pulling the lane into the creeps. So this way, the creeps down over here, like, nobody can go kill them, right? It does look like they want to try for that Witch Slayer, but I don't think it's going to work. Instead, it's going to be a death in the mid on uh, on their mid, so their Vindicator goes down. Witch Slayer is going to be trying to prolong his life artificially a little bit here, but uh, does not cut down a tree, instead dies in the corner. A little unceremoniously, and look at that, the Bombardier ult coming in, uh, wrapping up that kill. 10-0 now for MSI. Good map awareness there by No-Tail, great communication. He's even going to take this tower at uh, six and a half minutes into this game, guys. I mean, this is how you play a comp. This is how you work together, you call it out, you get those kills. We have a disconnect from uh, Propaganda, which is a great name, by the way. Now it looks like they're going to be pushing in this defensive tower. So Corrupted Disciple, you're not going to be able to defend that, buddy. In fact, I wouldn't even stay because there's the Gust from the Zephyr and the Slow from Ophelia. I don't think Demented Shaman's going to be able to quite get that kill because we do got the support coming in. But Zephyr's looking all right. He has a life tube. He does have some mana battery charges to consume. Plus, he does have those Gusts. But there goes the tower. You're no longer protected. Meg was going to go down to that Gust. Fresh Pro pick it up. Yet another kill right there and that's gonna be 11-1. 11-1 who just died we just did have yellow die so puppet master racking up a kill up top puppet master is now 1-1 one, one. best on the team you can see some items coming out here for uh, everyone so we got a codex bought right out bought it right out of codex uh, on this bombardier yeah vindicator you are no longer commanding mid if indeed you ever were uh, so Ring of the Teacher, the Plated Greaves, they're going to come in very nicely for some RMR auras uh, for the Ophelia summonses. And again, we got another Ring of the Teacher here on this Plague Rider. Oh, you can just right-click and lock on that here. Awesome stuff. And this Zephyr should already you know, have that gold per minute. There it comes! There we go, the Helm of the Black Legion. And wow, look at the gold per minute difference here on the two teams, guys. It's just really heavily in the favor of MSI. It's uh, it's working out really good for them right now. We do got a big bomb going out on the Puppet Master. Blows it early for the kill. Gets off the taunt. Trixie with yet another kill adding to that. And it does look like Zephyr's feeling really good. Level 6 up against these tri-lanes. Two level 6s to boot. If we can get off a Gust ultimate onto two of them, be well worth it. But instead, and there's the Gust. There's the ultimate. It is going to be on the Witch Slayer. Can he get the auto attack? Yes, he does have boots. He's going to pick that up. Not a problem. And does look like Nova had to go back a little bit, but Zephyr's looking really good right now with the Helm of the Black Legion and the boots. Can we say it? Oh, Megamus not able to get off that stun because, well, the Corrupted Disciple does have the boots, but Megamus unfortunately does not. So he tried for that last ditch stun. I don't think it would have been enough anyways because we did have Demented Shaman here ready to go with either that Unbreakable or the Healing Wave or even both. Um, my team's not ready yet. Okay. Apparently, uh... Only Mr. Pro is, so I guess the team was forced into action uh, by, oh, by themselves. <laughs> Don't really know what to make of that, guys, but uh, it does look like MSI is just walking all over Team SC here. 13 to 1 and 9 minutes in. Bombardiers come up top. They're going to push down this tower, and Puppet Master probably shouldn't have uh, revealed himself so... So very close to that tower, because now he's going to get chased down. I don't think he's going to end up getting killed here, but the bottle codex can just bring out a lot of damage on, on that Bombardier character. Dementia Shaman is going to get that heal off, or that it was an unbreakable, whichever. No, it was the Ophelia heal, and that's going to be a Bombardier ult taken down. Who just died? I don't even know. It's Corrupted Disciple. He's down in the dirt. Not a problem. And, yeah, again, like, gold per minute are looking pretty abysmal at this point. 26 gold per minute on... Oh, just fail, unfortunately. There's the Codex right there, the Lightning Bolt of Pain. Vindicator's coming up to say hi, but I'm pretty sure they can just ignore him right now. Let's see if they can ignore him. 
Ah, we're gonna put out some armor. That's alright. We don't have any more mana here for the Vindicator. Or the Windicator, as some people call him. But now nah, he's gonna get out of that. Like, Bombardier straight buys out a Codex. Doesn't even get boots. What a baller. And there you go. Another tower. Three towers, guys. Three tower difference, and it's only 10 minutes into this game. Oh, look, Zephyr's in the forest. It, uh, a level 7 Zephyr versus a level 4 Corrupted Disciple. Pretty easy to tell who's gonna win that one. I uh, do not know what kind of boots we're going to get. Oh, Vindicator getting ulted and the Gust by the Zephyr. He's going to be trying to chase him down. Vindicator does have the boots, so it shouldn't be as easy as you think, but Corrupted Disciple is going to come over here try to uh, show himself up a little bit. And it does look like Fresh Bow going to get out of that. Yeah, sure, why not? Let's go creep in instead. I don't think the creeps can actually even hurt him. So he ate some of his Cyclones right there, gets that health up, and keeps enough of them out there to kill everything that he needs to and he's gonna be looking alright so gold per minute's looking really good experience per minute again looking a really gold now these guys are sub 60 gold per minute you get one gold every second so yeah that's 60 gold per minute right there these guys unfortunately are even under that rate which is unfortunate for them uh, in terms of stats 30404021200 is looking really good for MSI we only have one kill on the board for that Puppet Master, and he did pretty good against that uh, Plague Rider up top. I mean, let's look, uh, 28 to 7 for the creep kills and the denies. And, yeah, uh, we got 15 denies here on the Corrupted Disciple, but that's about the best they can boast. Like, look at the creeps here, now look at the creeps here. Big difference in the last hitting potential, and, uh, well, even the killing potential. Like, 15 to 1, they're, these guys have died a lot, so they're not in the lane to actually get those creep kills. So it's unfortunate, but uh, it's looking really good. Now in terms of player damage, Bombardier throwing out a ton of damage. Uh, thanks to a lot of his boom dust, his stickies. It does look like Vindicator might actually go down right there. What's wrong with the Zephyr? Oh, Zephyr's under attack. Well, whatever. He's like a powerhouse at this point. I'm not even sure he could die. He is going to throw down that Tornado, however, on top of this Puppet Master. Now would be a great time to get some damage off here, Puppet Master. Yes! There we go! The ultimate onto him! And that's going to be a cooked dinner. Cooked turkey for dinner. I like it. Poor team. I really do think that uh, they're not exactly ready for this kind of level quite yet. Plague Rider's going to get that kill right there. Chases him down. Gets off the damage dot onto the Vindicator. He's going to force that silence, but auto attacks can't be silenced here, buddy. But now we got the Pub Master back in control. Going to be throwing down that hole onto the Plague. Might get a kill here onto Nova. Uh, sorry, not Nova. Yeah, Nova. My bad. But that's going to be Cardalicious. So a kill on the board for the Corrupted Disciple. These guys got to be feeling pretty good after that. You know, got a few kills on the board. Unfortunately, they're down five towers and 14 kills in uh, 13 minutes. So quite the powerhouse team, MSI. Yeah, so MSI doing it up. There we go, regular boots here on the Bombardier. Let's take a quick look at items across the board. We got some Magic Resist coming on here for the Snowy Owl. Uh, so that'll keep him alive a little bit longer. He's, well, if you think about, like, you know, magic damage, magic damage, magic damage, magic damage, you know. Puppet is going to get off a, a good amount of that auto attack damage onto you. So we'll really corrupt a disciple because he kind of thrives on it. But, yeah, I mean, that's why you got the Helm of the Black Legion. So I think you're fine. Fine at that. Uh, for the Demented Shami, you went with the Steam Boost. Leaves them on strength, which is fine. Looks like Noto actually picking up a kill. And that's just going to be another one that bites the dust for them, unfortunate. But uh, let's see, what does No-Tail got? Level 3 Codex, so he just insta-upgrades it to level 3. Who needs Tier 2 boots? I mean, you got a Codex, that's fine. Ophelia is running with an Astrolabe. So an Astrolabe is an AoE heal ability, so she has AoE armor, a grantable plus 20% base damage, and now an Astrolabe with a Whispering Elm. So she's just going to dominate another Minotaur. She has a flock of Minotaurs here. Or a gaggle of minotaurs, a herd of minotaurs. Yeah, you know, I think herd is for cows. I think that works. Yeah. Let's take a quick look at the other team. We do got the steam boots. They're on strength here for Puppet Masters. They're trying to get a little bit more beefy again with these Mystic Vestments. Mystic Vestments is a pretty flush theme, it seems, right here. The magic damage is kind of through the roof here for MSI. So, you know, trying to stack that magic resist, it's a, it's a good thing. Corrupted Disciple has his tier 2 boots, the Ghost Marchers. Uh, I don't think he's going to be able to solo a Zephyr who's three levels above him, but yeah, he's trying. That's, that's important. Got some Pretenders Crowns here on the Windicator. 
Rescue's unfortunately not living up to his name. But that'll give him a, yeah, a little, little bit of beefiness, a little bit of extra damage. But when you're faced by a, a Minotaur army with a Catman, uh, backed up by MSI, there's really not too much you can do about that, I'm afraid. Yeah, you just see MSI pushing into here. No regard for safety, but we do get the ultimate off from the Plague Rider. It doesn't seem to be very useful, but No-Tail does pick up a kill there on the Magmus, so he goes down. Uh, not really an issue right there, but he, once the silence comes up, I could expect an ultimate. No, he's not going to throw it down onto the Vindicator. Could have. Would have really worked for him. Uh, Dementia Shaman takes a little bit of fire in the meantime, but that's okay. He's going to get out. Another level of Codex popping out here for <laughs> Bombardier. What a jerk. Just going level 5 Codex. There's a song about that level 5 Codex, by the way. But how it is. Oh, 16 minutes in, we can now get a, a, a Hellborn concede vote. I don't know if you can tell if they concede it or not, but that's how it is. Magmus! I think that's the first time I've seen your ult this whole game. Unfortunately, it just gets you killed. I'm not sure that counted, but that's going to be a quick disconnect right there. Big party in the fountain, everyone's invited. Ah, <laughs> uh, fountain diving. So MSI takes their first game, you know, pretty handily, 24 to 3. So guys, I hope you see a little bit here about, you know, teamwork, a little bit about, uh, you know, the tri lanes, how to defeat them, a little bit about jungling, and uh, more, more importantly, I got to play with the spec UI, so I, I kind of like that. Yeah, fun times. All right, so for Grudge Jester, uh, you're watching a Zoe Cup game here on Here's the New Earth. This UI is just so good. Yeah, I'll stop pimping it. But uh, you know, guys. Uh, you know, hit up Twitter, hit up the Facebook. Nah, I don't hit up Facebook, I don't have one. Hit up the Justin TV, hit up the Twitter, hit up the YouTube. Everything is for Court Gesture. And, you know, ask away, learn, play. Lots of MOBAs out there to be had. So I will leave you off on that note, and I will see you later.